One of the biggest construction projects in state history is underway right now with massive improvements to State Route 520 on and around Lake Washington. The next key piece of this effort, the West Approach Bridge North. Julie Meredith is SR 520 Program Director with the Washington State Department of Transportation. The floating bridge will be the world's longest floating bridge at more than a mile, but it connects to a fixed structure, a structure that's supported by columns on the bottom of the lake and that structure is also 6,100 feet long. And in the end, it will carry the westbound trips from the floating bridge to Montlake Boulevard. So what's wrong with what we have now? There's limited reinforcing steel in it and the uh, foundations are shallow, so they aren't in what we would call competent soil. The risk is that the foundation fails or shears off and we lose that transportation link. It also lacks shoulders, which means a single disabled vehicle can cause a major backup. Construction of the new West Approach Bridge North begins this fall. You'll see more construction out here. You'll be able to look out here, they'll see barges. You'll see tugboats. You're gonna see delivery of materials. So you'll see trucks delivering concrete, reinforcing steel. There'll be cranes on the lake. And you're going to feel the vibrations when we build the foundations in, in the ground here. At the end of this project, we'll have two general purpose lanes in each direction, and for the first time in the 520 corridor, we'll have a complete HOV lane system all the way from Seattle to the east side of the lake. It'll also feature a bike and walking path with places to rest and take in phenomenal views. We expect this to be one of the most popular bicycle corridors. This is a fantastic option, and you'll be able to travel all the way from Redmond to Montlake Boulevard on an independent bicycle route. And all of this will be around for generations with an eye on the future. Another difference that we have in the corridor is that we're designing our project and constructing it to allow for light rail should it be included on the 520 corridor in the future. Construction of the West Approach Bridge North is expected to take about three years and it'll open to the public in 2017. This is about connecting the Puget Sound region. Um, this roadway can carry up to 100,000 trips a day. And so it's a vital link between the IT commerce centers on the east side of the lake and the commerce centers in Seattle. It's one of the economic engines, not only of Puget Sound, but of Washington State.